Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We have recently test driven the 2024 Genesis G70 with a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6. So we've got it in the garage, we popped the hood. And so we're gonna do a bit of an overview of the engine bay and talk about the major technical features as well as the maintenance service points if you're gonna do it yourself. The 2024 Genesis G70 has been with us in North America since 2019. And for 2024, it carries on with the same familiar Hyundai Kia twin turbocharged 3.3 liter Lambda 2 V6 engine that's been with it from the start. Under the hood of the Genesis G70, it's rated at 365 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 376 pound-feet of torque from a low 1,300 all the way up to 4,500 RPM. That's what they call a flat torque curve. In the example we have here, with the optional variable exhaust system, we'll add an additional three horsepower for a total of 368. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts with two separate filter boxes that each feed into a separate turbocharger mounted down low below each cylinder bank. We'll go with just one of them here for the sake of simplicity. It's hard to see them down below, but the turbochargers here are actually considerably small and thus can spool up quickly with little lag. The air charge then travels down to an air-to-air -air intercooler mounted low behind the front fascia, easily seen through the grill. From there, it travels back up to the main throttle body and into a composite intake manifold with variable runners. With its direct fuel injection, there is little of the fuel system to be seen from above, most of it all being hidden underneath. Its aluminum four valve heads do feature dual variable cam timing as you'd expect and have the exhaust manifolds cast into them that allow the turbochargers to bolt directly onto the heads. Looking around the engine compartment, the G70 sports plenty of premium car trims and trappings. Extruded aluminum cross bracing looks finely machined and finished. Complete sound shrouding surrounds the engine itself. As far as servicing the G70 yourself goes, everything can be easily seen and reached. The main fuse block is ahead of the passenger side firewall, the windshield washer fluid right next to it. The battery itself is mounted in the trunk underneath the spare tire. Engine coolant, it's right up front at the radiator location. The oil fill cap is on the top right of the engine where you'd expect to find it, and to its right the oil dipstick noted by its bright yellow handle. The oil filter is located down below, however, at the bottom of the engine and must be accessed from underneath. The brake fluid cap is located up at the driver's side firewall. The brake fluid is buried a little bit, requiring a funnel to top it off neatly. The engine CPU is down lower, just ahead of the brake fluid, and next to the strut tower. In the Genesis G70 we tested, with its 8-speed automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive, the EPA rates it at 18 miles per gallon city, 27 highway, and 21 miles per gallon combined. All right, my friends, there you have it for the underhood tour of the 2024 Genesis G70 with a twin turbocharged V6. A very fun car to drive. It's powerful, it's refined, it's quiet. All that sound deadening is good for something. I will point out that if you have one of these cars going back a few years, dating back to when it was first introduced here in the United States, everything we've shown you, everything we said applies. Nothing under the hood has really changed that much since it was first introduced. I will tell you that we have a test drive on this vehicle. You can see that right there on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. But if you like this nuts and bolts stuff, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.